Right now at 5.30, training to stop terror. The FBI educates local authorities on the power of improvised explosive devices made with household products. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And welcome back, I'm Maurice Dubois. Today's demonstration in New Jersey included examples of IEDs used by terrorists around the world. The training comes after last month's devastating bombings in Belgium and Turkey. CBS 2's Meg Baker has more now from Edison. We are all partners in the fight against terrorism. That was the point made here in Edison, New Jersey, where the FBI conducted explosives demonstrations. Without the public's help and input, um, then we're really, it's really difficult for us to identify any kind of threat without the assistance. Special agents with the Joint Terrorism Task Force say the recent and tragic attacks in Turkey and Belgium show the real threat we face from improvised explosives made with household products. A bleach, ammonia, nail polish remover, brake fluid, you know, when they're combined in the, right, in the right amounts, you know, they can inflict some serious damage. Today's training event included members of state and local law enforcement. First responders and private sector partners who may deal with sensitive chemicals that could be used to make a homemade bomb. We provide them an understanding and overview of what types of chemicals and devices can be put together, and then we complete the training by showing them exactly what the destructive nature of those devices are. Helping to combat terrorism from all angles. Anyone who's seeking to do us harm, whether it be, uh, you know, an individual from abroad or someone grow, you know who grew up right here in New Jersey. Special Agent Christopher White did the lethal mixing. One of the explosives that we made, uh, we refer to as a cold pack explosive. Uh, basically, we're utilizing. Ammonium nitrate mixing that with a uh, with the fuel components. He says two of the most dangerous substances are nail polish remover and peroxide. A similar chemical was used by the Brussels bombers. So again, they ask if you see something, even with the simplest of ingredients being mixed or bought, say something. In Edison, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. And the FBI does this kind of training every year in multiple states.